Sheila's mum was 82 when she signed up to an advert for a personal horoscope. It started nicely but led to months of torment from scammers plaguing her with letters demanding money. The next letter that arrived apparently was a threat and it said to her, if you don't go along with this, all the good luck that we've said will happen to you and your family will change to bad and nasty things will happen, people will lose their jobs, their health and everything else. She was petrified. For three months she hid the letters away, not eating or sleeping, too ashamed to tell her family, before breaking down to her daughter. Obviously I contacted the police and everything was stopped, but it stopped her from being confident about opening her own mail. And after that, every time she had a letter, she would ring me at work or wherever, sometimes up to 16 times a day, because she dare not open a letter in case it was a threat or something like that. So it changed her life, and a vulnerable person became even more vulnerable because of it. Luckily, she hadn't parted with any money, but that isn't the case for everyone. The average age of scam victims in Norfolk is 74, and today Trading Standards held a special event at Tesco in Sprouston to raise awareness of different types of scams. With just 5 to 10% of them reported across the country, the event also stressed the importance of telling someone. In some cases it's just the fact that people you know, see it, they, they realise it's a scam and they think, oh fine, well, you know, I'm OK, I didn't fall for it. We need to try and get a little bit more of that community going of let's make sure everyone is aware of it. You know, great that you know, great that you're aware. Share that knowledge. Talk to people, talk to your friends, talk to your family. Make sure they're as scam aware as you are. In total, it's thought scammers cost UK consumers up to £10 billion a year, with some in Norfolk losing six-figure sums. And though many focus on everyday things like car tax, bank accounts and internet shopping, many take advantage of heightened emotions following tragedies like the Grenfell Tower fire in London. We've recently had a real spate of ones based around solar panels uh, where they were trying to persuade people that there were problems with solar panels and fire risks and that if a problem occurred with the solar panel and it caught fire, uh, the fire brigade wouldn't come out unless you'd had the solar inhibitors fitted and they were then charging people up to £3,000 to fit these additional items. Today's event was part of a series for Scam Awareness Month, with stalls in Norwich, Drayton and Aylsham over the next fortnight, trying to protect families like Sheila's from needless heartache and stress. Lauren Du Bois, Mustard TV, Sprouston. Oh.